guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be meal prepping so it is Sunday night and I want to get my meals ready for the week I'm only gonna do one meal today because it's kind of late and I waited a little bit too long to make it but I'm trying this new like meatloaf with turkey meat and I'm gonna try it with some sweet potato mash I'm just learning different ways to incorporate more protein in my diet I actually bought a new protein powder um, isopure I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna put it in my smoothies and I'm gonna see how that works out for me. I just wanna get my daily dose of protein because I know last season I lacked a little bit in that department. So that's my goal. So I'm gonna record just me preparing my meal. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it turns out. I'm not gonna eat it till tomorrow. So this is gonna be like a two day vlog. I'm gonna tell you guys how it is, how my new smoothie is, what I put in my new smoothie. And yeah, this is just like a new season. I'm um, in week two of training. I can give you guys some tips of other things that are helping me with my training and things that might help you when you're trying to get fit as well. Yeah, I've had a completely new perspective on how I train because of my injury last year. And things are going up pretty smoothly. Obviously, it's still super early. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you like my health videos, as well as subscribe down below and hit the notifications bell if you want my updates for my upcoming videos because, you guys, they're going to be lit. All right, let's begin this video. For this recipe, you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter, a cup of minced onion. So I'm gonna cut up an onion, just like one onion. And then you're gonna need some ground turkey. So I did the turkey just because it's a little bit more lean than the beef, but you can do this with beef as well. But it also has a lot of protein in this. You're also gonna need breadcrumbs, one egg, so I need to get that out. Just pepper and salt to taste. And you're also gonna need some minced garlic. So I begin this recipe with chopping up one onion. And after that, I melt some butter on the pan and then I just saute the onions up for about three to four minutes. And I do it with the minced garlic. Once the onions are finished, I just put the turkey meat in a bowl and I add the eggs. I add the breadcrumbs, the pepper, and then I just add the onions and then mix them all together. You also want to add some salt. Afterwards, I just put it in a medium sized pan. I don't really have the loaf type pans that they recommended, so I just did it in this pan and it worked out pretty well. Okay, so I put the turkey meatloaf in the oven for about an hour, and now I'm gonna prep my lunch for tomorrow, so I'm gonna try the new protein shake I was telling you guys about. It's not a shake, it's just protein smoothie. I'm gonna add some, um, oh, so here is the smoothie I was talking to you guys about. So I took your whey protein isolate, and it's the sun flavored, and I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you guys know how it is, but yeah, I'm gonna prepare my smoothie for practice tomorrow, because after practice I am starving. So I'm about to prepare that right now while this is cooking and then tomorrow I'm going to prepare some sweet potatoes, maybe some vegetables on the side to eat with this meatloaf. We'll see how it turns out. I have no idea, but we're going to figure it out together. Alright you guys, so this is similar to my what I eat in a day vlog. So I'll link that up above, but I just add Greek yogurt and then I'm going to add the isopure in the smoothie so it's going to be a little different. I add a few strawberries and then I add some mango and then I add some celery. I also had apple juice as the base and then I put up an apple and I just put some of that in there. And then once that's finished I top it off with some spinach and that's pretty much my smoothie. So I just tried this. I put a teaspoon or sorry a cup of protein in and y'all it tastes just like a protein shake. You're probably like uh yeah you put protein in it. But I still wanted it to taste like a smoothie. It doesn't taste anything like a smoothie anymore. So FYI if you're putting protein in your smoothies it's no longer a smoothie, it's a shake. I know I sound very foolish for that. But hey, I assumed I'd still taste my smoothie. But yeah, at this point, it's just very much a shake. But I mean, it's fine. It's just gonna be a very different taste. So we'll have to see how I feel after my workout. So I have this nutrition journal I just started and I'm just gonna write down the new things I'm making throughout the week and um, what I'm adding and what I'm not adding from like the recipes I see. And I'm gonna be just like journaling next to it like what works and what doesn't. So if I didn't like it, how to fix it, and then also what makes me feel good during training. So yeah, I decided to start adding protein to my smoothies because I noticed that I'm super hungry once I drink them and I don't feel full. So I believe protein hopefully will help them out. And then yeah, this meatloaf was just very different. Never ate it with turkey. So if I don't like it, I'm gonna change some things up. But I think writing it down is just really helpful because it helps you go back and change the things you did. And it also makes you remember the good things so that you can taste good the next time. So yeah, we're gonna see how this journal, this new journal works out. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna make some sweet potatoes now with some asparagus. And I'm going to try to make this a mash, a sweet potato mash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it on top of the meatloaf because I don't like the, the ketchup they recommended. Um, and also I want more like carbs, obviously, to make me not get hungry. 
So yeah, I'm gonna make it into a mash and I'll let you guys know how it turns out with the loaf. All right, this is the final product of the sweet potato. I've actually never made sweet potato mash, believe it or not. So yeah, and it tastes pretty good. And then my asparagus over there. And yeah, we'll see how the final product tastes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. So this is what it looks like. Oops, I'm not getting a good video. There we go. This is what it looks like. And I'm now about to do a taste test. So I'll set the camera up here as I try it. And I'll let you guys know. And you know one thing about me is I'm very honest. So I'll be honest with y'all. I'm not feeling it. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, this is great. I'm not, I mean, I'll just tell y'all it didn't turn out that great. So I'll let you know. All right, a few things. It's pretty good. Um, I would recommend if you do this recipe, do regular meatloaf. I wanted to be all fancy and try turkey. I was like, oh, maybe it's better for me, but I would recommend actual ground beef for the meatloaf because I think that will taste a little bit better. The sweet potato mash has a very good taste to it, so I think that if you want a carb that's gonna make it taste a little better, do sweet potato mash. Um, I don't like ketchup, so I didn't do like the recommended ketchup they recommended, and usually if you don't do it with the ketchup, it's a little dry. So this is really what helps like it get that flavor for me personally, and it takes away some of like the, the strong taste of it. But I also think that strong taste comes from it being turkey. So, um, yeah, if I had to redo it, I would use ground beef. I asked for like Worcestershire sauce or something. I didn't have that. So I'd probably add that to give it a little bit more flavor. And yeah, other than that, it's pretty good. Um, this is my favorite meal. I still from one to 10, probably like a six. But you know, with cooking, you live and you learn and you realize there's different things you gotta make that you enjoy. And to learn new, new recipes, you gotta kind of fail sometimes. And that's one thing I've been doing. It's like I'm learning all these new recipes and they're not always that great. You live and you learn and you grow and you figure out what works for you. So if you are adventurous like me and love food like me, because I'm a foodie, try as many new recipes as you can. It's so much fun. And it's actually really good too if you can find some healthy ones. Thanks again for watching, you guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'm back. I'm so ready to share some stuff with you guys and grow with you guys. And I'm super excited to just produce content. So yes, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.